Many people love chips, and some can't imagine life without them. But do lovers of these crispy potato slices know when and under what circumstances they first appeared? If you are interested in the history of chips in general and the life of such a popular brand as Lay's in particular, watch the video. The Lay's brand was born at the slight suggestion of Herman W. Lay, who began selling potato chips from the trunk of his car in 1932. The product itself appeared much earlier, and completely by accident. It is believed that the father of the chips was George Crumb, son of an African-American and an Indian woman from the Huron tribe. He worked as a chef in the restaurant of Moon's Lake Lodge Hotel in Saratoga Springs, New York. In August 1853, one of the guests ordered the establishment's signature dish, French fries, and was dissatisfied with the thickness of the slices. That customer turned out to be Cornelius Vanderbilt, a successful businessman and one of the richest Americans. When the dish was returned to the kitchen, George Crumb decided to play a joke on his guest, so he sliced the potatoes into the thinnest slices and fried them. The effect surpassed all expectations, the dish, which was later called Saratoga Chips, was very much liked by the businessman and all his friends. So it became the institution's specialty. Chips were always on every table, but they were not sold for takeout. The new dish made the restaurant famous and attracted locals and visitors alike. Soon, because of the simplicity of preparation, the chips began to be served in other cafes as well. In 1932, 24-year-old salesman Herman W. Lay began selling chips in Nashville, Tennessee. He offered customers a product called Gardeners from Barrett Food Products. In 1938, a company representative offered Lay to buy out the Atlanta and Memphis plants, and he agreed. The amount of the deal was $60,000. He later purchased the rest of Barrett Foods facilities in Jacksonville, Mississippi, Kentucky, North Carolina, and other cities. Lay didn't change the company name or the chip brand for several years, until in 1944 he decided to rename his business Lay's Potato Chips. The new snack production quickly gained momentum and soon became one of the largest in the southeastern United States. By 1957, the company made $16 million and became the largest chip maker in the country. Four years later Lay's decides to merge with Frito, 1961. This alliance brings the product to foreign markets, and Frito-Lay now has annual sales of $127 million. In 1962, Lay's chips conquered Canada, and after that a number of other countries around the world. In 1965 Pepsi-Cola decided to merge with Frito-Lay, leaving it as an independent snack company. The merger changed the name of the holding company to PepsiCo. Frito-Lay at that time produced 32 kinds of products, and 40% of all snacks in the US accounted for it. Year after year the company expanded its assortment, opened new plants and research centers. The chips were an incredible success and soon sold worldwide. In 1991, the brand improved production technology, which allowed the chips to stay fresh and crispy for longer. Then the company launched baked chips, fat-free chips, Lay's Wow, and fluted chips, Wavy Lay's. In 2000, the Lay's Stacks line, a product for the premium segment in hard packaging, a cylindrical can, like Pringles, was introduced. The company now produces more than 50 flavors of chips, and also makes products with special additives on the order of individual countries. 60% of all snacks in the US and 30% of snacks on the planet are made at Frito-Lay facilities. PepsiCo Holding produces 23 brands. Famous brands include Pepsi, Mirinda, 7-Up, Lay's, Doritos, Lipton and others. Frito-Lay produces 29 types of snacks, and Lay's chips come in more than 50 flavors. Lay's chips in some countries are presented under different brands. Thus, in Australia the product is sold under the brand Smith's, in Egypt, Chipsy, in Israel, Tapa Chips, in Canada, Hostess, in Colombia, Margarita, in Mexico, Sabritas, and in the UK, Walkers. Lay's is ranked as the 40th most expensive brand, Forbes, with a value of $14.7 billion.
the company had 2019 revenue of $11.7 billion and spent $2.6 billion on an advertising campaign. It takes 4 kilograms of potatoes, and special varieties, to make 1 kilogram of chips. Of the 2,000 varieties of potatoes existing in the world, only 7, with tubers no more than 9 centimeters in diameter and with a high starch and sugar content, are suitable for the production of Lay's. The process of Lay's chips production from potato processing to packaging takes 20 minutes. The brand cares about the environment, so it strives to reduce energy and water consumption when producing chips. The company upgrades its facilities and implements modern high-tech equipment, such as LED lighting, heat recovery systems and compressed natural gas. To reduce fuel consumption and carbon emissions, the fleet is gradually being expanded with electric cars and trucks running on compressed natural gas. The company participates in programs such as Feed the Children and the United Way of the Dallas Metropolitan Area to fight hunger, provide food and clean drinking water to those in need, and improve the lives of women and girls. The holding company doesn't just provide aid and support, but also brings people together to be a force for good. Through Southern Dallas Thrive's work, the company helps prepare children for school, provides food for communities, prepares high school graduates for college and offers career opportunities for young people. As a member of Feed the Children, the brand helps alleviate hunger and addresses issues related to children's health and education. Throughout the history of the brand, the logo has changed several times. The first version is very different from the one we all know. The letter Y in the name of the brand had the most changes. The Lay's logo is a yellow circle with the brand name written in white on a red background in the center. The brand was named Lay's after its founder Herman Lay. The latest version of the logo, which took two years to develop, has a cleaner look, it's attractive and looks good on a variety of media. The logo redesign was done to attract more young audiences and to show that Lay's is a fun and flavorful brand. Since the brand is not called Lay's in some countries, the logo is also changed. The image is kept for recognition and different text is placed inside, depending on the name. Different advertising campaigns had different slogans. The first was, Bet you can't eat just one. This slogan emerged after the formation of Frito-Lay in 1961. Then slogans like, Lay's. So good you can't resist, vivid moments taste better with Lay's, taste the feelings, and others. The marketing strategy of the brand is to present chips as entertainment and a game among friends or relatives. To promote its products, the company uses different methods, advertising on TV and radio, publishing banners for billboards and city lights, conducting promotions and attracting celebrities. In particular, Ronaldinho, Lionel Messi, Andre Archevin and Enrique Iglesias starred in the brand's commercials. The brand's mission, to create more smiles and help people satisfy their hunger in situations where there is no time for lunch. Everyone should always have access to snacks. The company's goal, to win in the marketplace, develop and remain committed to the planet and its communities. Lay's vision is defined by a set of strategies that make the brand faster, stronger and better. That's it for today. If you found the video interesting don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.